Hello and welcome to this interesting video. We're going to talk about something called a half handshake attack today. Now, as opposed to the uh, prior video where we talked about a normal handshake attack, where we capture the full handshake, today we're going to do something called a half half handshake. Now, imagine when your wireless router, the one I have here, it's the same one as I always use, and your phone trying to connect to each other. What if the phone got the uh, original password, but uh, the router doesn't? Okay. So what if I want to uh, sniff the password on the uh, phone? How do I do that? Well, let's assume that we are a mobile device. So I'm going to open up Paint now. I'm going to draw the exact thing we're going to understand now. So this is the this is the uh, the wireless AP. So this is the wireless AP. Okay, the wireless AP, and this is the actual phone. So let's assume that on the Wireless AP, there is a VPA2 password that is equal to 123456, okay? And on my phone, there's a VPA2 password that is equal to 654321, okay? And it is for the uh, BSSID, which is called, let's just say, uh, we call it a Wi Fi test. And basically, it's the same we're gonna use on the phone. So what happens when your phone is uh, not connected to Wi-Fi network? Well, s because of the the software today, this Wi-Fi network here is going to be automatically looked for. So the phone is going to send out different kind of, I think it's called beacon frames or something like that, to, to verify is the AP within the distance or range to be connected to. Well, let's assume it is. Then it's gonna send out its connection frames to the AP, and then the the normal handshake will you know proceed, and you get all four packages that the normal handshake is composed of when you're talking about Wi-Fi. The half uh, handshake attack is when you only send the two packages um, from the phone, and you get nothing back. So how can that be achieved? Now, as an attacker, and this is what we're gonna get to. I'm going to do something like um, I will keep the name of my Wi-Fi attack box, okay? So it's going to be the same one called Bogus Wi-Fi, as you can see here. What I did is I changed the actual Wi-Fi password. As you can see, it's Summer23 down here below. The original one before was Summer22 for my Bogus Wi-Fi uh, access point. Okay, so what I, what I did is I didn't change it on my phone. So my phone is trying to, at the moment, connect to Bogus Wi-Fi. And it cannot, because it doesn't have the right password. So I can see right now, it's trying to connect to it by showing the small sign, you know, it, it, it's, it's turning around like a wheel, trying to connect to the Wi-Fi. So what I'm gonna try to do now is imagine the fact that you are roaming around and you are finding different kind of Wi-Fi networks in the area, okay? and you will see people's devices trying to connect to something. So you can basically sniff the traffic trying to connect to the Wi-Fi AP with Wireshark, and then you can crack the password, okay? So it's gonna be the same kind of methodology that we're gonna, we're gonna catch some sort of part of the handshake, not the whole one, but the half one, okay? And imagine this, when the phone is trying to log in on the AP, it does send the full password. We just need to um, add a few few uh, prerequisites we need. But anyways, but we're gonna catch it. And this is how we're gonna do. So in this video, let's get started with the stuff. That's gonna be fun. So what is needed is that we have the uh, Wi-Fi adapter here connected to my Linux K. This is the one, same one, Alpha card. And we're gonna put that Wi-Fi adapter into monitor mode. So let's go ahead and close down the browser here. We're gonna use it anymore. So we're going to do this by typing sudo air, air, mon, ng, and we're going to do a check. Sorry, check. Now it tells me that I have these two processes running and basically we're going to write check kill to kill them because we cannot have them running while we're going to do a uh, monitor mode, which is also promiscuous mode. So we need to do that to do package injection to our own wireless adapter. Now we're going to go ahead and write I'm on ng start VLAN zero, which is my uh, adapter name. We can go ahead and check that by typing if config. 
And depending on which user I need to do a sudo in front, I already did sudo just a tad ago, so it remembers me. On the user K, you can see we have the, uh, where is it? Oh yeah, yeah, I killed the process, so you cannot see it right there, but it, it, it is called uh, VLAN zero, so you're gonna trust me on that. So we're gonna press enter now. And now the card is coming into monitor mode. You can see that it is called VLAN zero man, so we're gonna do if config one more time. And you should be able to see this called VLAN zero man, which basically means it is into monitor mode. Now we are able to sniff traffic. And what we're basically gonna do is just clear the screen. And then we're gonna write a, a command uh, with two in front and we're gonna sniff the traffic and start Wireshark. And then we're gonna see if we can catch the frames from my phone and then further crack it. So first of all, let's just start the uh, the arrow dump. Uh, let's see, I've been here before and can do that VLAN zero man to basically just see what can we see in the vicinity. Now we can see different kind of Wi-Fi networks. We see the bogus Wi-Fi already. I'm going to stop it, and the bogus Wi-Fi is running on channel four. Now the reason I did this first is because that I'm not really, I didn't put a channel on it. So last time it was running on channel number two. Today it is running on channel number four. So basically we're gonna we're gonna um, put our Aerodrom minus mode to listen to uh, channel number four. And then we're gonna open Wireshark at the same time, and we could we could basically direct all traffic towards the um, we could do that to the the BSSID, uh, but today I'm just gonna do this. So Wireshark open. Let me just uh, verify that the uh, scan is running here on the other tab. Uh, that's not the one. Um, I think it should be okay. And then we gotta pick. VLAN zero uh, mon here, which is the monitor we put into in uh, well the interface put into monitor mode. So I'm going to double click it, and now we should see a lot of traffic going on, and we can see that something with bogus Wi-Fi, and yeah. So what I what I will do now is is I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up my phone and then I'm gonna do some stuff, and uh, hopefully we can uh, capture the traffic. Uh, from my phone to the wireless AP, and then we can see it and then try and, and, and capture the half um, the half bit of the of the handshake. Okay, let's try and uh, just press one of them, and then uh, let's see if we can find the BSSID for my. I think this is the one actually. So six C C D. Let me just see because I don't remember it exactly. So we can fill out all the traffic, and oh, this is small. Six C ending D eight D O D B yeah yeah, yeah. and then one C and yeah that is one. So let's go ahead and write a filter. So we filter out. Can I actually do this? Apply as filter. Um, select it. So we're gonna see. And I'm sorry I cannot zoom on this, but the VLAN target is equal to, and um, and we're also gonna do a VLAN uh, let's see, destination. I think that's D A is equal to the same. So either receiving packages or packages sent to that one. All right. So let's just do another filter and say, I think it's called EA Paul. That's gonna be the, um, that's gonna be the, um, uh, the handshake of the uh, device. We can already see something. I'm, I'm gonna try and, and do some my phone now and see if we can provoke this further to give more packages. We have like, what, how many is it now? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, oh, there we go. So more came when I actually picked up my phone. So I think I think my phone is trying to connect to this Wi-Fi at the moment, so it should be pretty good. Let me just see if we can. Mm. Yeah, it looks it looks 
looks okay. So the EA poll is the the handshake packages, and we can see we got the one of four and two of four. So we're missing the last three of four and four of four, which is the one that's going to be sent from the AP. And uh, let me see. It is sent from. I think. Let me just check my phone. I'm using, so I'm gonna. Yeah, it can. It can make all the noise it wants to. It doesn't really matter. I think the. Um, yeah. Mm, that's not the one. Mm, let me see. Something is trying, so let me see. It's probably that. It's probably that then. Yeah, I'm guessing. What else should try to connect to this? Extremely stupid. So let me just try a test. So I'm gonna, gonna turn off Wi-Fi on my phone. And it stopped, it seemed it stopped. And I'm gonna turn on Wi Fi now on my phone. And I put the uh, the marker here on the last package. And it's just gonna open up and now it starts again and it's thinking. So yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off Wi Fi now because now we try to connect to the bogus Wi-Fi many times my phone is trying to connect a lot with the old password called summer 22 but it is summer 23 now but it's the same BSSID that is what is important so now I can sniff it I'm sniffing traffic from the air right now so now I can begin to to crack this uh, traffic all right so this thing I think we need to do now is I made a flaw here in the filter um, so what we need to do to, to crack this is at least one beacon frame, or two beacon frames, sorry, and, and the BSSID, and I wrote an ended condition. It should be an old condition because we need the bogus Wi-Fi as the the SSID to be, uh, or the BSSID, depending on the, the, the side you're on, to be present in this package order. So, so basically what we can do here is this is the specified packages, so we're gonna uh, can I do this then? Why can I not export specified packages? What is... Mm, maybe I should stop recording and then export specified packages. I'm gonna save this on Kaylee and then say... I'm gonna call it uh, half underscore half hand shake and then bogus Wi-Fi. I'm gonna save this. And now basically what is left is for me to go back here from the window. I think it's gonna be, um, it could probably be this window here, I guess. I think I have the command saved. Mm, there we go. So this is the actual command we're gonna use. We're just gonna point it towards another pcap file and it's gonna be the the pcap file that we just recorded here it is called the the the, the hack handshake okay so <laughs> so I wrote hack handshake uh, cap file and if I did everything right right now I'm gonna run the code and see if we can find the the summer 23 and basically sorry summer 22 so basically what we found here is the key for my um, phone trying to connect to my bogus Wi-Fi. And as I just mentioned before, the bogus Wi-Fi key is, is, is summer 23 right now. The one on my phone is summer 22. And just imagine the, 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 the things you can do with this kind of attack. You know, you, by just sniffing whatever, um, uh, frames that there's in the air because you have a you have a wireless adapter that could be put into monitor mode so you can basically crack passwords like that that is an extremely effective attack because you're not 
intruding anything. It is highly defensive. It, well, not defensive. It is passive. Sorry, it is really passive because you're not doing anything. The only thing that might kind of give it up is if you're looking at the phone, it requires you to look at the actual phone and go into on the iPhone is on setting on Wi-Fi and then look at the actual setting trying to connect to something. No one will do that. No one will sit and look at that. So basically it's game over. I can sniff all the passwords and I'm pretty sure I can find um, I can find some passwords that is really weak and by this way I can still crack it without even interacting with the Wi-Fi exit point. Now I have free Wi-Fi, I can further enumerate my, uh, my way through the network, try and privilege escalate and all the good things. I really hope you like this video. Um, it is called the, the, the half handshake attack, where you only capture the first two parts, part one and two out of four, and the last two parts is not in, even interacted because it is the wrong password. So it is an authentication failure we are capturing, uh, capturing and this is what we're gonna crack on. So I really hope you liked the video, if you do so, Please consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you again. Until next time, have a nice day. Bye.